with media fear-mongering over the alleged threat from white males reaching a fevered pitch, we're beginning to see the results of it in the form of 60-year-old left-wing soy boys who still live with their mothers. Phil Addy was at Walmart with his mother buying a hair dryer when he saw something that shook him to his core, a white nationalist buying a gun. Again, it was in but, poor taste, when but... When you say white nationalist looking guy, what do you mean by that? What does it look like? Yeah. Uh, he was around 30 years old, white male. Right. Nice, I mean, pleasant looking guy and everything. clothing on No, his no, no, no. Like he had no right? political... It was right. just the image of it. And it was like, this is wrong in America. Wrong in America. Oh, come on. We'll get right back to that nutcase, but let me just take a quick moment to thank this channel sponsor, RibT.com. Come on guys, if you're still buying all your daily wear in a 10 pack plastic bag from a department store, it's time to consider upgrading. You're gonna have to buy t-shirts and underwear anyway, so why not buy a high quality product from an American company that supports free speech and YouTubers like yours truly. Your skin will thank you thanks to their signature cool nylon silk, which will keep you feeling dry and comfortable all day long. If you'd like me to give your channel or website a shout out, simply make a purchase at ribtcom forward slash drone tech and use the promo code drone tech to get 20% off most items. Send me a proof of purchase and I'll give you a shout out. Thank you. So what we appear to be dealing with here is an example of shopping while white. That's right, this guy saw what he himself describes as a pleasant looking white guy buying a gun, but for some mysterious reason, thought he was a white nationalist that had to be confronted. He actually approaches the Walmart clerk who's selling this gun and asks him if he can show him a weapon that can kill 200 people. <laughs> Questioning a Florida man for asking a Walmart clerk for quote anything that would kill 200 people. I'm mad, I mean, I was, I was buying a hair dryer for my mom and I saw a white nationalist looking guy purchasing a gun at a Walmart. <laughs> I just, I lost it. I just was mad. What does a white nationalist look like exactly? Sure, he could have possibly looked like the stereotypical gang member with swastika tattoos, but we know that's not the case because this guy couldn't even describe what it was that made him look like a white nationalist. It's a bit like the Salem witch trials where hysterical people were seeing witches all around them. And much like the racist label, being labeled a witch is impossible to defend against. I'm a long time gun violence prevention activist and moved to Washington to try and make a difference on social justice issues. Down here with my mom, back home, trying to figure out what to do with the next step of stage of my life. Am I missing something here? What exactly is the point of making terroristic threats when you believe you're seeing a white nationalist buy a gun? This guy is apparently a member of an anti-Second Amendment group called Gays Against Guns, so that's no doubt contributing to his paranoid delusions. It wasn't just that a customer was buying a gun, it's that a white guy was buying a gun. Obviously, this and other similar incidents are occurring because of the non-stop media fear-mongering about an alleged white right-wing scourge that threatens this nation. Here's the thing though, if you look at the crime stats, white males are actually way underrepresented in violent crime based on their percentage in the country. According to the FBI stats, and I don't say this as an attack, but black people actually kill more white people than white people kill black people. This is significant based on the fact that black people are around 13% of the country and white people are around 65% of the country. And this is something you'll never hear on CNN. This kind of hysterical reaction is the result of the media's nonstop fear mongering and you can guarantee there's going to be more. This isn't the first time we've seen this sort of madness. Take for example, this colorless cave beast who had the nerve to walk around with short hair while white. Inheads to hang out organizing the cement. Really? Where? I mean, he's got no hair, but I don't know. Does he have like the... I mean, how do you know he's a skinhead just because he's bald? <laughs> In skinhead style, he's in a right wing event. I don't know. Put two and two together. Just look at that face. It's the lost, confused look of someone who sees witches all around him everywhere he goes. He is absolutely sure that he spotted one of these witches that he's heard so much about in his gender studies class and on CNN. It's a medical condition that I got while I was serving in the military. So I had a, a, a backpack on that stops cell phone uh, signals from detonating bombs under our feet. And it either gives you a big white stripe up your head or if you, if you mind touching me. So I feel like right now. 
so I got patches in my head. So I had to shave my head because how would you rather be like have weird awkward patches in my head? Nope, he's just a military veteran who suffers from a skin condition due to his service. Or how about this paranoid Bowling Green student who thought she stumbled on a KKK meeting on her campus? Nope, it was just microscope covers. Or how about when this Indiana University student saw actual KKK members marching on campus? There's been a person reported walking around on campus in a KKK outfit and holding a whip. Because the person is protected under the First Amendment, campus police cannot remove the person from campus unless an act of violence is committed. Nope, it was just a Dominican friar going to get yogurt and that whip was just rosary beads used for prayer. Or how about when Nazi hunter Sarah Silverman spotted and reported Nazi symbols all over the sidewalk? Nope, those were just surveyor marks. What we're seeing here is a gradual, legitimate slide into madness as the Democrat Party media seeks to scare everybody into voting for Democrats in 2020. After the Russian collusion hoax failure, after the Mueller hearing failure, after the emoluments lawsuit against Trump failed, after the DNC hacking lawsuit fail, and after the campaign finance investigation failure, it seems the media is going all in with the white supremacy boogeyman. Instead of de-escalating tensions in this country, the Democrat media has chosen to ramp them up. Support me in this fight against a corrupt media by subscribing to me on Patreon or Subscribestar. Going forward, I'll be publishing an exclusive video for my Patreon subscribers every week. You can also help support this channel by leaving me a tip on PayPal. With YouTube demonetizing everything I upload, I still really need your help to keep this channel going. Thank you.